Anyway, it's the most wonderful time of the year. A whole bunch of stuff is going on sale at all your local big box stores that are pretty outstanding. So the big one that I normally get into is, of course, pre-filled seed starter cells. Start plants from seeds and cuttings any time of year. So what's really great about these is, you know, they're wrapped in plastic. They've already got your cells in them. I mean, it's got all the dirt there as a, you know, new seed starter or even an old school seed starter. You know, you just pop this sucker open and you just pop your seeds in there, you know. Super simple, super easy, which is outstanding. We're just going to throw it wherever it lands. So, and then you get on the back of it right here. And it, of course, tells you the instructions. And I love that, especially for beginner gardeners, because, you know, you're sitting here, you're like, yes, this is the business. This is what we need to do. This is how it's going to work, so on and so forth. And then this one specifically, which is by American Seed, pre-filled seed starter, got it from Dollar General. It was 50% uh, off and then 50% off. So by the end of it, I think I paid like a dollar for each of these, which isn't bad. But here comes the problem with these. These are not for beginner gardeners for multiple reasons, but specifically today, you know, as someone who's been doing their own seed starts and I have physical proof that I can actually start my own seeds quite successfully is that these, I mean, even with the instructions, if you were to put one inch of water in the bottom of this, spray the crap out of it with your mist or whatever, it is not going to be a superior grow like you would think. You could saturate the top, put the one inch of soil, water in the bottom, and it is going to take, I messed with this for four days before I finally got sick of it, tried stirring it around, messing with it, spraying it, so on and so forth. You're talking hours to prepare this soil for the simple fact of it is hydrophobic. So if you take this same soil and you throw it in a bag, add water, mix it around, shake it, do whatever you want to do, add a five-gallon bucket, doesn't matter. That'll make this go a lot faster than doing what it says on that instruction. So that's one reason why I don't think it's for beginners. The second part for this not being great for beginners is the simple fact that this is coconut core. Now, if you know, you've used coconut core before, it's one of those ones where you can get away with not watering it as frequently because it holds moisture really well. But at the same time, someone who doesn't know any better is going to put way too much water in this, plain and simple, and it's going to put on the algae, whatever, the green stuff that is on top of the soil, whatever you want to call it. And it's going to kill your plants. It's going to draw fungus gnats. It's going to cause all sorts of issues. Now, I'm not saying there's not a place for coconut core, but with the consistency of this soil, and I don't care if it's going in the bucket, that is nowhere near enough perlite. There's no vermiculite. There's no anything. It is just coconut core and a little bit of perlite. So the problem with that is it is not meant to drain, to lose water of any kind. So what it does is it sits there and it goes through the process. Like I just said, you're essentially overwatering your seedlings. They get a rear weird fungus around the base of them and then they're toast. Now, I have used these, this will be year three or four of using, trying these different seed trays. Uh, and with this soil consistency, there are all sorts of videos all over YouTube right now to show you how to make a proper seed starting mix with coconut core. So you personally could take this and mix it with all that, just like you would regular coconut core, and make your own seed starting mix that will work awesome. Me personally, this is how I roll with it. It goes in the bin. Why? Because I don't think seed starting mix is that big of an ordeal. Uh, I've never struggled with it, never had an issue, except for when I try to use these things that are specifically designed for beginner gardeners who are, you know, just learning how to do seed starting. And I think this is why a lot of people get turned off from seed starting is because there it's a it's a hassle. You know, I mean, you sit there and you mess with it and you mess with it. And today I'm specifically talking about dirt more than anything. But you don't get good seedlings. So that's how I deal with these seed starting mixes. These trays are awesome. I'm not going to lie to you. Buy these, say, you know, use the dollar trays. These go perfectly in the 
Centurion 4x4 greenhouses is what I think they're called, 2x2s. Uh, I've got a video on the channel. I'll throw a link up top there in case you want to check it out. I fought with that thing forever to put it together because I just was letting it go way over my head and overthinking it, building it. But it's actually kind of convenient, and that's actually what we're growing almost everything in now. So I said before that I could prove without a doubt that these seed starters aren't necessarily for beginners, and I'm going to do that for you. So apparently my mic died, but that is the pre-filled seed starter mix from American Seed, uh, the coconut core, and it's obviously turned green, and even after a few weeks of not watering it, it is still consistently wet, and yeah, it obviously grew a lot of algae on it, and just not great. So we're going to go ahead and just pitch that, and we're going to start over from scratch. So instead of a seed starting mix, I like to use the Fox Farm Happy Frog. I've had really good success with it over the last few years. Even with the seeds that I start in the coconut core for the seed starting mix, I typically end up spooning those out and putting them into the Fox Farm Happy Frogs in a little cup, like a solo cup from a birthday party, and everything seems to bounce back and do really good. So if you're going to do seed starting, I would recommend using the Fox Farm Happy Frog, and you could sift that if you wanted to to get the bigger chunks out, but it seems to be unnecessary for me. So I've got some proof to put my money where my mouth is, and that right there is baby bok choy. Uh, it's just a more compact version of bok choy, and it's amazing. Uh, we're growing them in those little seed cells there. That is Fox Farm Happy Frog. I did a video not too long ago for these ones. Uh, it's a failed, I failed to start a sea, fall seed starting. Uh, I can put a link up top there so that way you know you can go check it out if you want to. 